This could be the one mindset shift that you need to completely transform and manifest everything you've ever dreamed of. Hi, my name is Courtney Coffee. yes, pronounced like the drink, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about mindset, manifestation, and everything you need to know to become the best version of you. There's been this belief circulating in the spiritual community recently, or for a while actually, that I think comes from a good place but is doing more harm than good. And it's the words, think positive. If you know me in real life or even on social media, you know that I'm a very positive person. I love the glass half full perspective. I love looking at everything from the bright side. But you can't just say your affirmations, think positive, and expect everything to magically fall into your life. That's not the way manifestation works. And what we call that in the spiritual community is spiritual bypassing. It's this idea that all you have to do is Think positive, make sure no negative thoughts penetrate your aura, and everything you could ever want will be manifested into your life. And that's not the way it works. First of all, I don't know a single human being who is capable of thinking positive thoughts all the time. And I think this leads to a more harmful narrative than it is doing good because now people think that their negative thoughts are going to instantly negate everything that they've done, which isn't true. So instead of just surface level thinking positive, you need to do the shadow work. You need to do the mindset work behind that in order to actually change the way your brain works so it's your default, so it's your base level to see things from that point of view. And that's scary, that's hard, that's why it's called shadow work. You have to face things that are dark and cold and scary, but it's worth it. And in this video, we're going to look at some of the mindset shifts that you may need to look into to begin to heal some of that shadow. If you're watching this video, you've probably heard the term scarcity mindset and abundance mindset. But if you haven't, scarcity mindset over here is the belief that there's not enough resources to go around. Whereas abundance mindset over here is the belief that there's more than enough resources to go around. And while understanding the difference between scarcity mindset and abundance mindset is important, in order to heal that overall, you need to dig deeper into the depths of why you have that scarcity or abundance mindset. And one of the reasons behind a scarcity mindset could be the dilemma between good and evil. Speaking of abundance, if an abundance of you likes this video below and subscribes, it'll help me out a lot and don't forget it's free for you. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. We've been fed this narrative almost our whole lives that money is bad. That massive wealth brings massive selfishness and evil. And for most of us, the idea of being seen as evil isn't a very appealing thing. After all, humans have a need to belong. You don't want to be outcast from society, and the only way to not be outcast is to be seen as good. It's a survival instinct. So if we equate money and wealth to evil, then wouldn't it make sense that it's harder for us to manifest it because we don't want to be seen as evil? A lot of this feeling is really deeply rooted in fear and guilt. We feel guilty for having something that other people don't have access to. I'm very fortunate because I grew up in a family that never wanted for anything. I mean, we weren't rich, but we also weren't poor and wondering where our next meal was coming from. So I always had that sense of security. But does that mean that I should feel guilty for having food when other people don't have access to it? I think the thing that a lot of people forget when it comes to having anything is that you having something does not mean that someone else cannot have that thing. You are not taking away wealth from other people just because you have wealth. There is enough money and resources to go around for everybody. Just because I have food on the table doesn't mean that you can't have food on the table. You are not taking away from someone else by having the desire to have or having. This may be a little controversial, but we're the only ones responsible for living our lives. If I ask you advice on something, you can give me all the advice on the world, but I'm the one who has to live it. I'm the one who has to decide whether to take that advice or not. Just the same, I am the only one responsible for my health, for my wealth, for my happiness. And yes, everyone is fed different circumstances, and some people have a leg up in certain areas that other people don't. 
But that doesn't mean that we can't get there. That doesn't mean that it's impossible for us to go where we want to go just because that's not where we started. I'm a true believer in the value of the journey. I think that we're put on this earth to learn something and to give value back to the world. And the journey for each of us to get to where we need to go is different because we need to learn certain lessons along the way depending on where we are in our own soul's journey. Think about it, you can't give back to the world the way that you are meant to if your cup is empty. You know that saying, how are you gonna love someone if you can't even love yourself? It's the same thing with this. How are you gonna give back to the world and live in your purpose and use your gifts for the greater good if you don't have enough resources to be happy and survive yourself. But no matter where you are on your journey, it's important to remember that you don't have to do this alone. There are people and resources to help you out there. In fact, a lot of things that you need to shift to begin to manifest your dream life, you aren't gonna be able to see on your own at first. Which is why if you're new to manifestation, I highly suggest you check out my manifestation video for beginners linked here. And also make sure to subscribe so that you have a community of people to help you along your journey, including all of the content I make. That's literally the point of this channel. But trust me, that million dollars that you're aiming for, it's possible for you to get it, even if you have to get it dollar by dollar. In fact, it would be more weird for you not to get your manifestation if you're continuously doing the mindset work, taking action, and trusting your journey. Because after all, failure is just redirection, and redirection is an inevitable path to success.